Hi guys, welcome back to Terra Rubber Gaming. I am Ed, and we are continuing with FCOS today in Football Manager 2018. We play Malmo in Europa League. I always have to like check on the side of the screen, it's ridiculous. I've got no idea, I don't script anything. And NAC in the league. <laughs> So yeah, that's right, welcome back. It's been a bit of a wild ride since we last met for the 2-1 defeat to Lazio. Uh, very up and down in the league, basically, Europa League. You can see that we actually beat Lazio on the return, but let's go through it chronologically. So at home to Sparta, we went 2-0 down. I've sort of rotated the side quite a bit in the last five league games. Uh, inadvertently left a couple of players in for Heracles, who were, no, not Heracles. Was it for Lazio? Yeah, for Lazio, I left in Van Boxtel, complete by accident in goal. We'll go through that. So yes, rotated team here against Sparta. More whipping boys of the division where we just went 2-0 down. Got back into it in 95th minute with a Darren Kane equaliser. We dominated them and just were not scoring our chances. Same really with Excelsior. They came back into it. We went 2-0 up. They went 2-1 and we managed to hold on. But we're just dominating teams, just unable to finish them off. Same story here for Groningen. They scored inside 20 seconds. And then we just couldn't put them away. Uh, it took until the 78th minute to get back into it. Had plenty of chances, but just didn't score. This Lazio game was really impressive, though. Um, it was quite even and their formation was quite standoffish. So I did decide to push for the winner. And I'm really glad I did because it was kind of necessary. Uh, Michael Martin getting on the score sheet seven minutes from time. You'll see what it does for the group in a second. But yeah, really big win. One of our best wins in the whole season, season series and season, to be honest. Following on today, this is where I started playing today on the commute home. Uh, Twente, uh, we lost 3-2. We went 2-1 up after going 1-0 down. Um, they equalised. I was pushing for a winner because we were dominating them. And 3-2 loss. Real unhappy. Obviously, last episode, I started talking about games in hand. As soon as I start doing that, every single season I do that, we start screwing up. So I'm not doing it today. We did just smash Heracles, Heracles 6 0. Went down to 10 men towards the end, but whatever. Uh, we completely smashed them out of the park. I changed some tactics bef like after the team talk because I saw, again, they were quite standoffish. They were 4 1 4 1. So I thought we'd exploit some of those spaces and use our defensive sort of or centre mids to sort of pass the ball between each other and try and open up the spaces ahead and it worked really well. So yeah, today we play Malmo and NAC. So let's have a look at the Europa League first. So Group I, which is over here. So that Lazio result really important because at a draw, we were on four points. Obviously they're on five. No, terrible maths. Uh, we would have been on five points. They'd have been on, no, we would have been on four points. They'd have been on eight points. So then our only hopes would have been to beat Mittyland and then hope for a result elsewhere. But as it stands, it is now in our hands uh, because Lazio and Mithilan do play each other. So obviously if we do anything against Malmo, well, either way, we'll still be in a chance in the final game. And in the Eredivisie, we are second. We are a point behind Vitesse with one game in hand. I'm not going to look too much further than that because I do see that Ajax technically have a game in hand on us and would overtake us. So let's not start playing that stupid game again. But... Yeah, we've been playing pretty well so far. Martyrs on the score sheet a lot. Gretzen's on the score sheet a lot. Just a couple of results in there, as you saw, which we should have really been doing better from. It's a shame. It's a real shame. But let's have a look at the team. Also, nothing else really going behind the scenes. I'm setting up a few future transfers. They're nothing remarkable, though. I'll probably go out on loan and just be sold at some point, to be com completely honest. They probably won't even make it here. But uh, I'm trying to spread the resources around because we've got a lot in wage budget i figure we might as well use it because we're only going to hopefully make some money from europa league and stuff anyway so let's make the most of it wages still fairly low though i've been a couple new deals i'll cover shortly but the team for today against malmo whipping boys of the group is julio cesar in goal matusek schmidt bokossian and van dyke at the back so van dyke youth product one one and a half stars perhaps one and a half potential three and a half that seems to be improving which is nice um, doesn't look remarkable, won't be remarkable, might just be a solid option, but uh, Vasquez is injured, not for much longer, he could potentially play but I'm not going to risk him, in the middle Prezak and Verheyen continue with Rahak and van der Koylen on the wings, van der Koylen back from a loan spell, you might remember him, but Sonna is injured, he's out for another two weeks, and Fred Frank and our other academy product is 11 days, we do have a couple players who could play left wing, but they don't really play left wing, so Darren Kane could, but 
not overly convincing. Not too bad, just not ridiculously convincing. Trebelsi, it says he can, but he really, he can't at all. But yeah, van der Koylen, you might remember, he scored a couple of pretty important goals in his time, actually. He's 20 years old, he'll be 21 in April, so he's probably not up to much, really. Two-star current, three-star potential. Uh, well suited for the league below. If he gets the three-star, he might be an okay option for us, like as a backup. But he's been on loan at full Keir for the last couple of seasons. Um, I think he actually won player of the year there. And up front, we continue with Marta and Gretersen. Um, so very much the same sort of team as always. We've got players like Burnett, Kane, Almiron, Trebelsi even. Probably all pushing for starts, but they're just being kept out as it stands. Silva, he played the last couple of games because he was about to moan about lack of first-team football, though he is a backup. Um, and you know how much I love him. He's maybe my favourite player of the series, but I mean, he's just, Rahak's actually performing, so he's got to start. Something else to note, which I didn't think of at all as well, Riley Backboard actually left the club at the end of last season uh, after not making an appearance, and he wasn't happy. I don't blame him, but then I decided to bring him back on a free because he's Riley Backboard, so I've got him in <laughs> until the end of the 2028 season, by which time he will be... 30 and I've got a three-year extension on him so I'm just going to try and keep him for life I might try and just give him the odd game just to make sure he's happy enough but yeah we'll get into the game and just hope for the best I suppose so yeah Malmo don't really have any one of note they've got a load of regens new gens he doesn't look too bad actually a few of their players don't look horrendous but just not quite good enough not even as good as us and we're not that great we just seem to perform pretty solidly so I am hoping for the best. I'm hoping for a win. Uh, in terms of the group, so with Lazio and Mitilan both on eight points and us on seven. I think that's how it stands anyway. Uh, yeah, at least in terms of in-game right now, so it's even a point less than that. What we need is for us... We can technically even lose, but if we lose, we need Lazio to beat Mitiland as Malmo go down the right and put it in the back of the net. Right, so yeah, as you can see, as it stands, 8-8-6. Eight, eight, what we need is Mittyland. Well, even a draw is okay, because it's still in our hands at least. Rahak just playing around on the right. He's been real good. Um, do love Rahak. I just I don't know if I'm actually ever going to see the best out of him, because I've said it's either end of season 8 or season 10 is when I am. Martyr into the box. Gretison header, just over the bar. Malmo, smash the ball forward, straight over the top. And what is Gretzen doing? He doesn't even try and get the ball. It's a long ball to Bark and Bark. <laughs> I need to make a dog pun, but nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> Sticks into the back of the net. Corn now for Malmo. And we are really under pressure here. Can they still go through? I mean, I think they can, technically. But we do clear it. Marta is coming away with it. Vahayan keeping possession. We do need to move further forward, though. Verheyen goes for it. Please cut it back. I mean, is that a penalty? Is that actually a penalty? Bolkosian hasn't taken a penalty since the disaster of last season, and he will never take another penalty as long as I'm at the club. Well, unless it's a penalty shootout. Uh, it's still raw. It's still really, really raw, to be completely honest. Gretzen steps up and puts it straight at the keeper. Mm. We don't have anyone who can take penalties. What do you want me to do? So the highlight sort of went on for ages, stopped for all of about two milliseconds, and has carried on Gretison. Terrible shot, hits the post. I mean, hopefully the lighting's a bit better today. Um, I've even kept the old patio. Yeah, patio blinds up. Is that another penalty? And Gretson wants it again. You can sod off. You can, or you can go. Marta, come on, don't let me down some. Uh, yeah, it's been real. Obviously, it's like the height of summer. I think it might have even been like the longest day or will be very soon. It's obviously very bright. Marta stepped up and he has his penalty saved. Yes, yeah, so it's been very hot and very bright and the clouds have just converged over my little hideaway and oh, I pressed the wrong button. Right, so I'm actually not going to mess around too much longer because this is this is stupid and angering 57 minutes gone we are just up against it here we're losing where a draw would no i wouldn't really put it in our hands because we lost to mitty we need to win we really need the win gretson's struggling he's on a 5.7 both my strikers actually both of them can come off quite frankly 
Um, but what I will do is... Ooh, do, 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 do. No, I'll tell you what. Kane comes on for Van der Koelen on the left. Trebelsi comes on for Marta. Gretzen comes off for Almer on the attacking mid, who then drops back in here, becomes an advanced playmaker on support, and we see what that does, if anything. All right, just under, just over, sorry, 20 minutes to go, and we do have a throw-in on the right, which is, again, like I've said recently, real common for our chances being made, but Malmar are breaking. Can we get the ball back? Van Dijk does well. Proving himself to be a, a Vasquez 2.0 there. Just a nice, decent challenge in a decent area. Just when it's starting to look dangerous. Prazak, who doesn't really play make in the middle there. He's not really a defensive mid though, but... Uh, I'm really not a very good tactician, so I don't really know what to do. I've just stuck with this formation for years now because it works. trebelsi has been put through on goal. He puts into the back of that. Great assist by Verheyen, and we are back in the game. We're on control. Ooh, it's only been 10 minutes. I'll leave it for a few more minutes and maybe go attacking after that. Right, 15 minutes to go. I've just pressed the attacking button. I don't know what else to do because, again, I like I, I trust in the formation. I I don't change a lot with my two saves with Pyra or Os because I genuinely think I've got the right thing going on. It's just against most teams we play, it's just a matter of time. Just sometimes that matter of time doesn't happen in that game. <laughs> um... That is a superb touch by Rahak on the right, by the way. He gives it to Almiron. Trebelsi. Oh, that's a shame. That I might zoom in on that. That was a superb swivel. But here come Malmo with Vajic. Um, he's got an itchy, itchy area. He has an itch for goals. And he's he's not scratched it today. Two minutes to go. And you, uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, There's a minute left and they got a free kick. Can we get this back real early? Even a draw. Well, it's not really enough, is it? Doesn't change our game at all against Mittyland. Darren came with the worst cross of all time, but you can't cross, so what can you expect? Rahak on the right. Trebelsi doesn't quite get his foot on it. I think this is just an extended end of game highlight. Show something else if it happens, Ed. <sighs> we lose 2 1 to Malmo. 2 1 to Malmo. We don't deserve to go through. So, Lazio beat Mittyland. So how it stands is we have to beat Mittyland in order to go through. I mean, it's, it's just a joke, isn't it? It's an absolute joke. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to bring you the league because I'm just not, quite frankly. Um, I'm going to skip forward to this Europa League game. So there's a lot of me playing this tonight off camera, but yeah, I, I need to get that done tonight because that's going to drive me crazy. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, I'll see you in a minute, but for me, you'll be in a bit. You know what I mean. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, we played three games. Played three games. We beat NAC and VVV. So, 1-0 and 4-2. Real dominating displays. Also dominated as. We've been doing a lot of dominating recently, um, but lost to as. 1-0. Didn't really create many clear-cut chances, but dominated. So yeah, not fantastic. Where that leaves us in the league right now is first place um, on goal difference from Ajax, but we have played a game more than them. The top four this year looking actually quite tight. So yeah, we've got to stop dropping so many points so ridiculously against these sort of lower sides. If you look at the teams we drop points against, go ahead, um, Sparta, Groningen... Twente as and then beating PSV, Feyenoord, Ajax, Heerenveen, Vitesse. It's crazy. We should not be dropping the points we're dropping. It's probably because I rotate a bit. Maybe I rotate a bit too much. Uh, hopefully we'll be actioning some of that in the January transfer window. Still more to do on that, but um, I'll figure that out another time. But for now, the focus, of course, is on this Mittyland game, which we have to win. We're going to a really familiar looking lineup. Um, it's hard with some of the decisions I've had to make, but I've, I've got there. So we're playing Julio Cesar in goal, Matusek, Ives, Bokhossian, Vasquez at the back, Prezak, Verheyen in the middle, Rahak and Son on the wings, Marta and Gretzen up front. So Ives is starting ahead of Schmidt because Schmidt is suspended for this game, unfortunately. Trebelsi is injured, so not on the bench. But I'm going to sort of wait and see what happens with their formation before... I changed anything too drastic. I'm just trying to be a bit more proactive like this before games uh, get there eventually with what I'm trying to say. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1. No one familiar in there at all, to be completely honest. Uh, anyone on the bench? 
No, no one really stands out. They've got a couple of regens at the back. I mean, he's pretty good. He's online from Bournemouth. He's worth a lot of money. He's not as good, but he's still probably about as solid as the sort of players we've got. I don't know why I always judge the new gens. He's equally quite good on loan from Bournemouth. And he is an absolute beast of a finisher, that guy. So because they look like they're pushing up quite a bit, I don't know if I should invite them on really because I don't know if we're going to get very far. What I'll do is I'll judge it off the first 10 minutes or so. Um, so I've completely just backtracked on what I've said. I thought I was going to change it before the game, but I'm not. We'll just play it out and see how it goes. Oh, wow. Straight away, free kick. Gregretson is there. Oh, their keeper just about holds on to it. Deary me. I think the highlight might actually be continuing. Their goalkeeper is an absolute unit as well. I'm going to check him out in a second. He looks massive, but we do reclaim it in the middle. Sonner on the left wing. Doesn't try to do his man. Gives it to Gretzen, though. We are holding it nice in the middle. There aren't many options for Prazak there, but he does find Rahak on the right. Mart has been put through on the right side. A couple options in the box. Sonner's at the back stick. It's a header right across goal, but it's just the wrong side. And I'm just going to pause it and check out this guy in goal. Bill Hamid, American, never heard of him, 24 caps, he looks pretty solid, uh, 191 centimetres, 101 kilograms, that is crazy. Mitty Lamb with the corner from the left side, and it goes just over the bar, uh, Lazio are beating Malmo, which probably isn't too much of a surprise, and we do have a corner pretty much straight after that, Verheyen swings it in, Marta Boghossian straight at the keeper or at the defender, I'm not sure what it was, it was a good block. Oh, it's reminding me of last season again when we relied on Bog Hossian to score a goal and he didn't, and then bad things happened. Is the same thing going to happen this season? Gretzen out to Sonner. We need Sonner to move wider. He sort of started to do what Silva's been doing over the last couple of seasons, which has become less and less effective. He's still very good and performs pretty well, but it just seems to be less explosive than previous. gretzen has been put through straight at Hamid. Oh, uh, we've had three clear-cut chances. Are we going to pay for our profligacy? Is that how you say that word? I don't know. Mitty Lamb with a throw-in on the right-hand side. Playing it around a little bit, but hopefully we can get it clear. It's not overly convincing from Vasquez, who just puts it back where it came from, unfortunately. And they are shifting through the gears in the middle, but Ives does clear it. Marta is there. Gretchen just beyond the halfway line. There's a few runners. Sonner is on the left. We've got a couple in the box of Ahayan and Marta. Rahak's moving into the far post. Marta goes for a header from that angle. Um, probably been better off leaving it. I mean, we've had 13 shots. They're one, 60-odd percent possession. They just had a couple there. Shots, I look like a mug now, don't I? Right, so we are still 0-0. I'm going to get aggressive and sound far from pleased. I don't know who was demotivated. Oh, I didn't see it. That's annoying. But I'm... I'm hoping that'll just stick a rocket up them. Because we need the win here. We need it. 66 minutes gone. Not one highlight. I can't bring off Vahayim. Because he just has the potential to do something amazing. As does Prazak. This is our strongest front line. This is the problem we have. Rodrigo Silva is going to come on for a hack. That's a risk. Darren Kane comes on. For Gretison. We'll reunite the old boys yet again and see if they can perform a miracle. What else can you do? Not a lot really. I think that's as good as it's going to get for now. We're going to leave the final substitution which is incredibly unlike me to do. We're going to stop exploiting the middle but we are going to control the game in general and go attacking in about 10 minutes time if nothing's going on. Right we've got a free kick. Verheyen. Darren Kane puts it straight at Hamid again. Ugh. Right we've gone attacking. My laptop is being disturbingly loud because it's been sort of recording on off for uh, most of the evening now so I do need to give it a break so it's going to put up with the sound uh, I'll try and speak over the next few minutes so hopefully you don't really hear too much of it but we've got more attacking we've gone to yeah we've gone to attack we stopped the exploit in the middle um, I was hoping a goal comes from somewhere we haven't made another change but Marta goes through on goal and puts it straight at Hamid again is it Hamid? I don't even know his name anymore and sorry I keep it to my because oh, bloody hay fever I swear but we've got 7 minutes to find a winner here if I can even see the pitch it could be a bit of a disaster I mean we've had the corn but it's probably going to come to nothing let's be completely honest and there's the clearance 
we've got just over five minutes to find something here it keeps slowing down oh why does it keep slowing down four minutes three what else can i do i mean running two minutes of added time how often do you see that just two minutes of injury time i don't know what to do um let's just shift everyone up and hope for the best uh deep line playmaker on support for prazak fast wears and matthew sec both need to push up now and do something crazy complete wing back attack right we're gonna stop retaining we're gonna stop going shorter pump clear or pump oh this is a difficult one let's pump it into the box look for the overlap uh we'll get stuck in we'll go high tempo this is all too little too late i've done it with just over two and a half minutes to go it's not gonna be enough i don't think um 15 seconds to go it's their goal kick and after all that after all the pain of the last season or so we've added to it not got rid of it we've added to it oh So there it is, um, it doesn't show yet. We're out of the Europa League. I mean, it's real hot. I'm getting real frustrated. My hair's probably all over the place. What have I clicked on here? Oh yeah, now you calm down. Probably because we're outside of the match. Um, that's not great for the finances because they're not really going to improve from here, are they? Wow. So I mean, there's a break here. And we've got no other competitions this season apart from the Eredivisie, so we've got no excuse now, and we've got a large squad. We've got a few players coming in that might go out on loan. The Eredivisie is the focus. We've got to win it this year. We've got to get back, get back in that Champions League and do something. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Until, I think it was probably, we were playing the 1-0 win against NAC here. So I just recorded the Malmo game, which we lost. Which has proved to be horrific. Just one goal there would have changed everything. Or would it? No, it wouldn't have changed everything. I'm just an idiot, aren't I? Yeah, I, I was skipping through to this game because I thought that I was going to end the series if we didn't get through. And temptation is still there. It has been a really frustrating year and a half. And I've got other projects I want to be getting on with. But then, and you probably won't even see this, you might see it, Tiger FM shared out one of my tweets where I was like, I'm on 49 subs, excited to get 50, hopefully by the end of the month. Like, I'm, I don't beg for subs or anything, but all of a sudden I had like eight more subscribers and Lelujo sent something out and it's just, yeah, the, the response has been great and I would just be quitting because I'm terrible at the game when really I should be trying to sort it out. So I'm going to try and sort it out. We've got to get Champions League next season. And that gives us two seasons to do something in the Champions League. One season to enjoy the new stadium. Um, it's going to be a quick skip through a lot of the seasons now. Because obviously we've just got a division. You've seen it all before. So I'll bring you the key games in the running. So next time I see you, probably PSV. Maybe Vitesse and here in Wien actually as a double might be quite nice. Because they're big teams. But we'll see how the running's going. And um, yeah, I'll figure it out. But if you've enjoyed that, watching us lose and draw and drop out and I'm miserable, then um, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you very much for watching.